Hey, it's Hunter, your craft doctor, and in this video, I'm going to show you the art supplies that I've acquired recently. So, Hobby Lobby had a lot of stuff on their clearance aisle recently, and uh, I got two how to draw books. The first one is Mastering Manga with Mark Creeley. It was originally $22, and I got it for $8.27. It's a really cool book on just how to draw. And the second book I got was Manga Monster Madness by David Oakham, and it was pr originally around $20 also, and I got it for $7.19, and it's more on the lines of how to draw monsters and different monster tops and stuff like that, and it's super awesome, and I love it. And I went to Walmart, and I got a 100-pack of Crayola colored pencils, it has oh, all the colors that I would want so I can use with my Copic markers. And while I was at Walmart, I got this watercolor set. Um, it is this brand, you can see that, Daler Roni. And the watercolors are really nice, they're just really chalky. And so I don't know if that's usual, but the other set that I got from Walmart was really smooth like paint, but I find the texture unique. I uh, also picked up some wall safe scotch tape. It is okay to use for like putting down your uh, watercolor paper when, paper when you watercolor. And uh, it's also safe for your walls and stuff and it won't rip your paper. It's just really, it's like post-it note sticky. And then I got a few uh, pencils and pens. Uh, I got this Prismacolor Premier. It's a cream color. I got two Microns from Hobby Lobby. I got the Micron uh, 0.8 fine liner. And then the Micron brush pen. And I also bought the Faber Castell brush pen. And I found that I really like the Micron better, just the ink. And here I also bought a paintbrush from Hobby Lobby. It was originally $6.99 and it was on sale for $2.51. And it is a uh, royal brush pen. And uh, here is the Faber Castell Pit Artist pen. And I don't know if it was just mine, but the brush nib had this flaw in the top of it. You can kind of see it when I roll it. Anyway, I liked the, the Micron a lot better. Next, I'm going to show you the Copics that I got. I got this in the mail yesterday, and I've already opened it, and I actually refilled one of my markers with one of the refills, because I'm very impatient. Um, they, the Scrapbook Pal, the website that I ordered these from, send a free gift, and I always add it, even if I might not use it, but I thought anyone can use clear stamps, no matter what. So I went ahead, and this was free. And then I got a few markers, and two refill inks for my Copics. I got the Y00 Barium Yellow and the B000 Pale Porcelain Blue because I've been using these a lot and I've already refilled my B000 because it needed it and I was testing these colors out yesterday because I was extremely excited. And so for the colors I got from Scrapbook Towel, here's their card in the bag, I got E95 T Orange, YR04 Chrome Orange, V15 Mallow, V12 Pale Lilac, B00 Frost Blue, and B01 Mint Blue. And I've got a piece of paper and we will be testing all these colors out. But I'm going to finish showing you the other Copics that I've collected fairly recently. Every time I go to Hobby Lobby, I use my 40% off coupon to grab a new Copic. So, I've got a handful here, and I'll just read them off, and then we'll chart them. So, BG72 Ice Ocean. YR18 Sanguine, I think is how you pronounce it. BG02 New Blue, and this color is very similar to B... Zero 02, it's just a little bit brighter. 
I got E97 Deep Orange and E99 Baked Clay. I got this purple thinking that, or because I wasn't, I didn't have a lot of purples, and that's how come I bought the other Vs from Scrapbook Pal, but I got BV08 Blue Violet, BG57 Jasper, Y38 Honey, B99 Agate, and last, T93 T Rose. So we'll grab our paper and we'll go ahead and start charting these. So here are all the colors that I've recently got all on paper. My phone does a very good job of picking up the actual color. What you see on camera is what they actually look like and I find that really cool. Um, a few things to say, uh, I got these two colors to complement my V17 Amethyst so I can have the blend and they work amazing. Um, when I bought v BV08, I thought it was going to be a more purpley because the lid looks really purpley, like bright purpley for some reason in real life and it's actually really dark. You can see the contrast right here. Um, then BG72, you'd think that it would be a lot darker, like BG57, but it's actually just more gray, and it's actually a lighter color, and it's really nice for shadows. And last, what I was going to tell you about these colors is I bought BG02 because I thought there'd be a um, big difference, but here is BG02, and then I bought B02 because I thought it was going to be brighter than it is, but it's not. So I thought if they would switch the colors, I think they would go along better because the lids look different, but they're very much the same. So uh, originally I thought that B02 would have more of uh, the color that the BG02 does, but it doesn't. And so they're both really nice to have, but honestly I would have just bought one of them. And uh, to go along with the other colors, the uh, B01 and B00, and that family, I think that BG02 goes along better, but I guess it's all personal preference. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy when I do hauls. I really, really like doing hauls. I just think it's so fun to look at people's new art supplies and crafts that they get. I hope you all like it. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe and hit that like button.